Hey guys, welcome to another edition of the Backyard Yoga. This episode is, or practice, is for when you're feeling kind of down or maybe a little bleh, a little energy going. So hop on your mat and let's get started. All right, guys, we are going to start today's practice by coming all the way down to the ground, lying out on the ground. So however you want to get there is your choice. Either you can turn on your side and go down this way, or you can do a little rock and roll, but we'll go this way. So however you want to start. Sometimes when you're feeling black, all you want to do is just up, lie down. So, uh, sometimes that's what I want to do. So, your legs can be out long if you like, hands can be by your sides in the Shavasana type of pose or posture. Or, I'm going to bring my left hand to my heart and my right hand to my belly. And start, we're going to starting some nice deep breaths. So really puffing out that belly. And blowing it out through the mouth, blowing it all out. and have the biggest breath you've taken all day long. Then you can make the noise if you want to. Blowing that hair out through your mouth. Feeling how the earth supports you. Matt supports you underneath. And then, very simply, we're walking our feet up. So our feet are going to be planted on the earth. Our hands planted on the earth. Heels, snuggling those shoulders underneath. So hands right behind the feet, right behind the heels, snuggle, snuggling those shoulders underneath, getting ready for our first bridge. So taking those hips, lift and then up to the sky. Very gently, very gently, planting those palms into the ground. Take your hands and grasp them underneath you, or a little bit more, you can always do so. 
making sure we're pulling those inner thighs in as if we're holding up a block underneath. And we're here for 13. And one. Very slowly lowering back down to the earth. Making guiding that core as we do so. Bottom. Lower back. Flush. Pulling those knees up and in now ourselves a big hug and feel like, yeah, no, it's not for me. Do whatever you can do. Maybe your knees come up just a bit and you put your hands on your knees. Roll around, give yourself a little massage on your back. Come on, that feels good. Ooh. And for breathing. And planting those feet back down on the earth, taking this right foot and crossing it over the left leg. Taking the hands out and threading, reaching through, threading that needle, reaching through that opening, and then pulling that left leg up. So we're in this like figure four type of shape, just gently pulling that left leg towards you. Right arm pushing that left, that right leg out. You can stay right here if you'd like. If you'd like something a little bit different, take that foot up to the sky. Mm. Making sure we're breathing, keeping finding that deep belly breath that we started with. Placing that left foot on the ground, right foot on the ground. Left foot is going to come up and over the right leg. Again, reaching the, reaching that left arm through, grasping that right uh, leg up and in. Ooh, very gently, you can wiggle both feet if you like. Feeling that stretch. So we're back as flush as the earth. Closing our eyes if we want, or maybe opening them. So simple. You have taken this time out for yourself. You like to extend that leg up, gently do so. If it's not in your heart space, you have to worry about it. Staying connected with that breath. You know, sometimes when we feel blessed, just laying down and breathing can help us. And other times, we just need to move. Taking this right leg and our right foot, placing it back on the earth, left foot back down on the earth. One more time, picking those knees up, hug on top of your legs, underneath or on your thighs. If you like, that feels good. Or maybe again, just kind of rolling around your lower back very gently on the earth hands, on your knees. A little bit of self love here. <laughs> it feels really good. Now you have a couple of options. Either you can roll these knees on over to the side. Go ahead and lift up. Or if you like a moment of play, you can always roll up and then we'll roll back. So your choice, Yogi's choice. And we will, if you're rolling up and back, you want to cross your legs and then come all the way through. We will meet in on our knees so 
hands are going to be like starfish, knots of energy between all of our fingers, right underneath our shoulders, knees are right underneath our hips. Finding that earth to ground connection again, that tabletop position, strong tabletop, putting a little bend in our arms. And then once you're ready, once you have this established, dropping our bellies, carving a line with our nose, opening up our chest space. Nice deep inhale, looking forward. And then shh, you can make that noise if you want. You don't have to. Go and get all out into that kitty cat pose. So really connecting that belly button up with the spine. And then again, we'll look forward on a nice deep inhale and blowing it all out, rounding through. And then again, pulling it forward all the way, opening up that heart space, strong connection, fingertips really pressing into the earth. And then blowing it all out. And if, you don't, if you're like, whoa, this feels really good, I'm gonna stay right here and do this some. Absolutely do it. If you would like to come off the railroad tracks for a minute and kind of find what feels good for your body. Maybe there's something tight. You know, sometimes that's why we do feel lucky is because something is not moving in our body. We're stuck. And sometimes we just need to move about to feel unstuck. To feel that unlick. So I invite you to take a moment to squiggle wiggle around, find what feels good to you. And again, if you're on that cat cow journey and it feels awesome, continue on that cat cow journey. Do one more moment of whatever you are doing and finding our way back to tabletop. So hands are still, are gonna be underneath our shoulders. Again, lots of energy. And those fingers spread wide like a starfish. And then taking this right hip and bumping it out, looking over our left shoulder. Keeping a little micro bend in those uh, elbows. And breathing. Coming back to center. Left hip. Bumping out, looking over our right shoulder. And coming back to center one more time. Right hip bumping out, looking over our left shoulder. Ooh. Coming back to center. Left hip bumping out, looking over our right shoulder. And then coming back to center. Finding that little lift. Putting the little fire in your toes. We'll hover those knees. Just pick them gently up off the earth. Toes are planting into the ground. And we're here for five, four, three, two, and one. Dropping those knees to the ground. Sending that booty on back. You can walk those knees underneath, really reaching out with our hands, stretching, stretching. If you would like, you can bring your head to the earth. And then again, give yourself a little massage on your forehead. Or maybe, maybe you just need to find that moment of stillness. Again, that moment of breathing deep. Listening to you. And then on a nice deep inhale, coming back up, we'll move our hands out just a little bit. So make them a little bit wider. Let knees come apart. I'm gonna put those fire back in those toes and send that booty up and back toward the back edge of the mat. 
If your heels find the earth here, great. If not, no worries. First downward dog of the day, taking our little dog for a little walk. <laughs> Shaking their heads, yes and no. Whew. And breathing, letting it all go, remembering to take nice deep breaths. Whew. And then we'll walk forward with our right foot and our left foot, right and left, really planting those feet into the ground, bending our knees as much as we want. Nobody says we have to straighten them and be all beautiful. So we're, we can bend, not that this is not beautiful bending your knees, but bending those knees as much as you would like. And breathing. Closing your eyes if you want to, or opening them. Maybe seeing the world from a different angle, a different point of view. Whew. Sometimes just a different perspective can give us new insight to whatever may be feeling stuck, you know, in our minds or in our bodies. Ooh, and then when you are ready, really planting these four corners of our feet into the earth and lifting up, we'll come all the way up our heads, being the very last thing to come up. Fingertips come and kiss, whoa, overhead. And then we'll bring them down by our sides. And then again, fingertips come and deep inhale, they kiss overhead, raining them down by our sides. And this time, hands come all the way up, big, giant, namaste clap overhead. Putting our fingers together like a steeple. So we're kind of in a steeple grip here. I like to call this Charlie's angel <laughs> pose. So sending those pointer fingers way out to the sky, stretching, stretching, stretching. Even the biggest stretch you've taken all day. Shoulders, whoa, we're back and down. Pointer fingers rising up to the sky. And then bumping that left hip out, sending those pointer fingers over to the right. Looking up underneath that left elbow, our left shoulder, feeling that stretch in the side body and breathing. And deep inhale, coming back to center. Bumping this right hip out, and you got it. Sending everything towards the left. Keeping our steeple grip nice and tall. A little bitty bend in our knees. Keeping up underneath that right shoulder, elbow. Feeling that stretch, all oh, that stretch in the side body. And gently coming all the way back to center. Releasing those hands to reach way up to then come all the way down. Palms finding the earth. Stepping back with that right foot and that left foot. Plank pose or half plank yogi's choice. And we're here for three, two, one. Going straight to down dog or you can always take that little vinyasa. Dropping down to the belly planting that pelvis into the earth. Those toes go into the earth, gently looking forward. Just a little baby cobra here. Head back down. We will meet in downward dog. Pedaling it out. Ooh. Walking forward with the left foot and the right foot, left and right, planting those feet, feeling that nice forward fold. And if your palms don't even come near, your fingertips don't even come near to the earth, you still got a great bend in your knees, it's all good. <laughs> and then very gently, rolling up, rolling all the way up. Fingertips come and kiss, boop, 
overhead, bringing them down by our sides again. Again, on a nice deep inhale, fingertips come up to come down. And then one more time, fingertips all the way up, kissing overhead, bringing them down by our sides, palms finding the earth, stepping back with that right foot and that left foot, plank pose. And we're here for three, two, and one. Taking that vinyasa or going straight to down dog. Always yogi's choice. And we'll meet in down dog. Pedaling it out. Woo. Walking forward with the left foot and the right foot. Left and right. Lifting up all the way up. We come just a little bit faster this time. Palms come up. Kiss overhead. Getting them down by our sides. Palms finding the earth now. Stepping back with that left foot and that right foot. Plank pose for five, four, three, two, and one. This time, dropping our knees. What? Yes, dropping our knees underneath our hips. Walking our hands back underneath our shoulders. Finding that strong tabletop. You want to squiggle and cool it out. It's all good. And then taking this right hand, lifting it up like we're lifting a bow and arrow and looking towards the right. And breathing. And then we'll replace this right hand on the earth. Left hand peels up just like we're pulling back that bow and arrow, looking towards the left. And we are breathing. Ooh, left hand finds the earth. Send in that booty on back again. Let's put our big toes together and walk our uh, knees out as big as our yoga mat. And if you're like, yeah, no, it's fine. We'll leave your knees right, to, right together. Reaching forward. The less than a child's pose. Just for a moment. Hmm. Stretching those fingertips out to the front. Massaging that forehead if you like. And if not, stillness. And we're breathing. And then when you're ready, walking those hands back underneath our shoulder. Well, actually, uh, yep, underneath our shoulders. We're gonna make them a little bit wider this time. Again, putting a little bit of fire in those toes, igniting that core, sending that booty up and back, and then finding it out, we're dodging. Woo, pedaling it out. Again, see what you notice about the world being at a different angle now that we've started to move. Maybe you build a little heat. Walking forward with our left foot and our right foot left and right, finding this luxurious forward fold. Knees are bent as much as we want. Four corners of the feet really planting into the earth as we rise up all the way up. Fingertips come and kiss overhead, but to rain them down by our sides. And then again, inhaling it up. Fingertips come and this time, namaste, clap overhead. Finding that Charlie's Angels pose. <laughs> Point your fingers up to the sky. Let's put the funky thumb on top. So that different thumb that you didn't have before, go ahead and place it on top of the nose because it feels a little funky. So, really reaching up. Shoulders, though, are back and down. Breathing deep. And then bumping that left hip out, sending those pointer fingers towards the right, looking up underneath the left shoulder. And breathing. Back to center 
we're bumping those right hips, that right hip down. Sending those fingers toward the left. What do you notice this time? We're really stretching that side body again. Looking up underneath that shoulder or that elbow. Then you're coming back to center. Both fingers go, all fingers go up, and then raining them down by our sides, palms, finding the earth, stepping back with the left foot and the right foot. Plank or half plank, totally yogi's choice. Four, five, wow, four, three, two, one. Going straight to down dog or taking your little vinyasa, totally up to you. We will meet in downward dog, pedaling it out, walking forward with the right foot and the left foot right and left lifting a little bit faster this time all the way up fingertips come and boom meet overhead raining them down by our sides palms finding the earth stepping back with the right foot and the left foot plank or half plank for three two one again beating in downward dog or you got it taking that vinyasa Paddling it out. Walking forward with the right foot and the left foot. Right and left. Lifting all the way. Really planting those feet into the earth as we rise up. Fingertips come and kiss overhead. And down by our sides. Palms finding the earth. Stepping back with our right foot and our left foot. Plank pose. For three, two, strong plank. One. Dropping those knees to the earth, walking them out underneath our hips. Hands are going to come again like starfish underneath our shoulders. Yep, tabletop position. From here, we're going to take our left hand and peel it up like a bow and arrow. Yes, again. This time looking all the way up. And then taking this left hand and threading the needle. So really pushing it through this hole, bringing that ear towards the ground or on the ground. The right hand can stay right here by your face or walking that right hand out and really reaching it in front of you if that feels good. Or maybe you wanna take this right hand and reach it behind for a little bind and see if that feels good. Kind of might feel like a little pretzel here. <laughs> Maybe not. But sometimes when we do feel a little yucky, like we need a little energy, or maybe we feel a little twisted on the inside, it may help be a little twisted on the outside. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and then taking this right hand, if it's behind you or in front of you, placing it on back on the earth, taking this left hand and pulling it back out, replacing it on the ground. The right hand comes up, just like we were pulling that bow and arrow, stretching, stretching, and then threading that needle. Right ear comes to the earth, left. <clears throat> and walking out or behind and it may feel different on this side for example <clears throat> I would like to leave mine out in front of me for this step And then wherever that left hand is, walking it back in and pressing it into the earth, pulling this right hand up and planting it on the earth. And then we'll very gently just kind of lift up on our knees. So walking our hands all the way in to where in this, uh, our knees are under our hips, but we're lifting 
working, everything is lifting up. So think about lifting from the pelvic floor, pulling that core in, taking these hands, sending them down to come all the way up overhead, palms, giant namaste, clap overhead, finding our Charlie's Angels pose, and then sending it out in front of us, just a little bit. Now, if this is good and you want to stay right here, absolutely do so. If you are like, man, my knees are killing me, okay, you can always take your yoga mat and double it up. So that, that's an option too. Totally up to you. Wherever you are, if you're right here, fantastic. Stay right here. Now, if we want a little bit more in this Charlie Angel, Char, no, Charlie's Angels thing, we'll just send our body straight backwards and then bring it forwards a little bit. You may want to look at me. And you may be like, yeah, no, that's not for me. You can stay right here or even right here. Totally up to you. Or maybe you just want to bring those hands to the heart. Shoulders are back and down. Lots of options. Play for a moment here. Maybe meet your edge, find your edge, feeling this core body stabilize. So we're pulling up, not crunching into this back body, so it's not a back bend. So we're really stable, stabilizing and breathing. If you'd like to pick up the pace, you absolutely may. Or you can go as slow as you want. We'll do three more of these wherever you are. I've been sending these pointer fingers up to the sky. We can release them down, stretching them down. Swiggle, wiggle, swiggle, wiggle. If you'd like to come off your knees for a minute, trying to find again what feels good, move about. <clears throat> absolutely do so. And then coming back to our knees, lifting our hands back up, ooh, back up in the air. Nice and tall, big namaste, clap overhead. You got it. One more time. Funky thumb on top this time. Sending those fingers out nice and long. And then we'll just start moving backwards and coming forwards. So thinking about this lifting Thinking about keeping our core nice and stable. Sometimes when we feel lucky, just going back to our core foundation, you know, our, our center can help us too. Shoulders back and down. Or maybe you're like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's okay too. more of these wherever you are. And I'm sending those hands up. You may look up if you like. And then raining those fingertips down by our side. Bringing that booty on down to your heels. And if you're like, ooh, this doesn't feel good, um, then you can always come all the way down to your bottom. So I uh, crisscross applesauce. You decide what feels good for you. Bringing those shoulders back and down. Take these hands, reach them up again on a nice deep inhale. Floating this right hand down to the left thigh, left hand swims around to the back, gently looking over that left shoulder. So we're not crunching or forcing ourselves into this twist. If this is as far as you can go, then go right there. If you'd like to go a bit further, you may do so. Of course. Breathing. Ooh, 
and then coming back to center. Hands come up, oh, again by our sides. Woo, fingers, hips, kiss overhead, raining them down. The left hand gently floats to the right thigh, right hand comes around, sitting up nice and tall. Your fingertips meet the earth great. If not, it's perfectly okay. Just gently looking over that right shoulder and breathing. Coming back to center. Both hands come up behind those ears, really reaching towards the sky. We'll do a giant no, let's say clap overhead. And then rain them down by our sides. Coming to our bottoms now. We'll take those feet and walk them inwards, walking them inwards. So we're here, or wherever wherever your feet can go, holding on to your shins if you'd like, or behind your thighs, totally up to you. We're gonna give ourselves another big hug, carving a line and looking forward with that nose. Stretching the back of that neck. Hoping we generated a little energy in our body. Maybe find maybe we found a place of tightness. Or maybe we just found a moment of stillness. Looking forward with that nose. Deep inhale. Taking these feet, opening up, putting them together, opening up our knees. Barakanasana, our butterfly. You can give yourself a little massage on the feet again, if you like. If not, it's all good. And then when you're ready, bring those shoulders back and down, sitting up nice and tall, carving the line again with that nose, looking forward. Looking inward. Maybe something has become unstuck and has given you a little new perspective. And maybe not. It's all good. <clears throat> and then using that core, really igniting feeling it working to pull you back up. Bringing these knees back to the center. One more big hug for yourself here or here, wherever. And then when you're ready, finding a crisscross applesauce or maybe not, maybe your legs are just right here, but totally up to you. Bring those hands up to the sky one more time. Giant namaste clap overhead. Bringing those thumbs down to our foreheads. May we have unblucky thoughts <laughs> down to our lips. So our words. are not yucky. And then bring those palms down into your heart space. So we can feel energized and unstuck. And get rid of that black. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much 
for joining me. And we whisper. Namaste.